Like you guys are too kind. You are great. <laughs> you guys are great too. I was ostracizing this side of the room. But because you guys are so great, I do want to be uh, up front with you right away, just so you guys are aware of what's going on tonight. Tonight I will be using a certain word in my in, uh, in my stand up. It starts with F. Some people find it offensive, but I I don't think we should be afraid of words. And I don't think people should be scared of words, so I'm just gonna get it out right now. Frost seizures. <laughs> okay, I, just, I wanted to say that because I'm not here to offend you guys. That's not my job. So I'm not going to use any offensive terms like mankind. Because, because that is offensive, because it's not true. There are more than men on this planet, which I couldn't be happier about. I love women. <laughs> so I know a lot of people say the easiest way to fix this is just replace man with human. But I say no, because it still ends in man. It's just as bad. So people tell me, Ross, it's an easy fix. Well, let's take the man or replace it. It'll be Hugh Person. But it still has son in there. <laughs> That's still masculine. So I have a proposition. That we should change our name. From now on, we will be the Huper Child Race. <laughs> but let's not get on the issue of race. <laughs> Unless it's the presidential race, which we can talk about, because that's coming up. And next year, it's coming up soon. And it's important. It's important to vote, to stay informed. And uh, I really want to know, as you guys go to the uh, polls next year, to keep in mind everybody's favorite candidate, God. <laughs> you weren't aware that God was a politician. Here are the facts. Take mortality talk about something that applies to everyone else but him. And also, he gives you all these means to collect sin, and then when you pass away, he just takes it all back. If that's not the death tax, I don't know what is. <laughs> and he's been in office forever. <laughs> A few years ago, there was this kid named Jesus. He ran against him, showing some promise. Turned out, they were the same guy. <laughs> Son and the Holy Ghost. It was triumvirate. It didn't work for Rome. It's not going to work for us. Just ask Caesar. So it's trouble. There's this corruption in the government. And then in order to fight this, because we need to fight it, we need to be aware. And the best way to be aware is through education, which is why we're lucky to be at a place like BU, just ranked one of the hardest graded universities in the country. That's right. And it's a good thing, because take Star Wars, for example. <laughs> when Obi-Wan pushed Anakin really hard, he went on to become the best Jedi in the world, right? No, he didn't, did he? <laughs> Never mind. But I do think in my one semester here, I have gained some education. Like in one of my classes, archaeology. I've learned a lot. First day of class, learned it's not going to be like Indiana Jones. <laughs> Which kind of put a bummer on the rest of my semester. <laughs> but also in class, I learned how to spell archaeology. <laughs> Which is tougher than it sounds. There's an extra A in there, much like the Canadian alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing I learned in archaeology this year is the scientific name of the American bison, which happens to be Bison Bison. <laughs> Which to me doesn't sound scientific. That sounds idiotic. Because if you would identify a couple animals by their scientific names, oh, there's a bison, 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 bison. That's too many bison. Oh, excuse me. And by daughters. <laughs> Have to clarify. So you see, this, this world is kind of tough. Things are coming at you from all angles. So it's important to have people to back you up, friends and whatnot. And it makes it troubling when one turns against you which happened to me recently, when my phone became my enemy. <laughs> it's true. Because I had an old phone, and it was one of those where you wanted to text, you had to use the numerical buttons. And whenever I wanted to type something with a GHI, which happened to be on the four button, it told me I wanted to write forever. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. I have never once wanted to write something with forever. <laughs> So it was obvious that my phone was trying to turn me into a preteen girl. <laughs> and it had to go. And I got a new phone, and so far it's been pretty good. But recently, it started to do the same thing. Yeah. Because every time I try to write perhaps, 
He wants to write Pegasus. <laughs> are cool. But I mean, you can see, if I try to write my friend, perhaps not. If it comes out, Pegasus not. I'm going to sound either like I'm an ancient Greek or a modern moron. Neither of which are acceptable in today's society. But even with these exchanging words that my phone has been doing, it's still better than when it makes up entirely new words. Which is happening too. Because every time I want to write very, it likes Bertie. <laughs> now, I don't know who Bertie is, but he has no job being in my text message. Because according to my phone, everything is Bertie cool. <laughs> Bertie good. And conducted by a system of Bertieables. <laughs> so it's tough. Because if you can't trust your phone, then who can you trust? You guys are a good audience. Hey, I like your sweater. It's a very pretty sweater. And I think I can come up with the best word to describe that sweater. Unfortunate. And I say this. We're not being offensive. Remember, that was the very beginning. I say that simply because in today's world, you can all go out, no matter how good you feel in the clothes you're wearing, like me in these super red shorts, you can have the knowledge and be assured that there is a mannequin somewhere better dressed than you are. <laughs> they do not have a head, but they have a better fashion sense. A mannequin. Excuse me, a Hubert child kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I did notice recently that there is a link between mannequins who have no Hubert child kids. I'm doing that all the time. I have no feeling and pretty people. Because I found this out on Facebook the most reliable of internet sources. When somebody gave advice to another friend that said, you can't be sad, you're too pretty to be sad. Which is just great, because we normal people now have to bear that burden as well. The only people that can be sad. And it really is just sad, because it makes me realize that the barbification of the world is upon us. That's right going to become to the time where everyone will be like this. I'm sorry, did my cat just die? I don't care. I can always get a new cat when the expansion pack comes out next spring. <laughs> Ross Houston's feline friends without feelings. They're gorgeous, but empty inside. <laughs> And it's sad, because that's scary. <laughs> I don't like that. But I don't want to scare you guys. That's not my objective here. It's not to frighten you, not to freak you out. So I, I want my last advice here, I have some advice for you, is to keep your chin up. Keep hope alive. Always look on the bright side of life. All that stuff. Because at the end of the day, you can always remember this. That no matter what, there's always a chance. Pegasus. <laughs> If you find somebody that is birdie willing, then you might have a chance to be facetious. If you know what I mean. Okay, thanks guys. Yeah. I'm